you. Up. Hands behind your back. Head down. No talking. You will tell me of your counter-revolutionary activities. I will hear every one. I'm not a... I don't have any... No talking! I will tell you when you are ready to talk about these things. ask you, you tell them something. Make it up. Tell them. Ask me. Ask me. You will tell me of your counter-revolutionary activity. I will hear every one. He told. He been told. I've done nothing. Nothing. to sign before you go. What is it? What? 
words. Only words. And we have come to understand that words are not real here, haven't we, comrade? Other things are real. Who do I incriminate? Names. Only names. It's my father's name on here. <laughs> if it was, would that make you sign, Victor? was not so hard. But you kept your pride. No doubt about it. I wish you all success. Thank you, comrade. Get those clothes off. Let's see what's hidden in here. They stink. This is my bed. My bed. In prison, I learned the first and only command. Do it unto others before they do it to you. I did not know that I was only one of millions and millions that Stalin was exterminating in the gulags. All I knew was that without hearings or testimony or witnesses or appeals, without any of the tediousness of legal process, I was sentenced to 10 years and sent north to Siberia. No. 
you all right, all right. You can have it. Tell me, who are those men outside with the white sacks on? They're blind. Being on the streets and being blind, that was their counter-revolutionary crime. I see. He sees. <laughs> The way we run this place is simple. You work, then you get fed. If you don't fill your work quota, you don't eat. Each day stands for itself. If you don't complete your work quota for today, it doesn't add on to tomorrow. Here at Boripolo, every day is a fresh start.